this motherfucking nigga you don't know, you about to find out why. What it is, ho? A West Side Canadian Barbie got told up. <laughs> Girl, listen. When I tell y'all, y'all have been on me about young and reckless reviews. And here it is, ho. Here it is, ho. I got, listen, I got y'all. I got y'all, okay? Today I'm dropping episode one and two reviews, okay? episode one and two i'm gonna catch it up today like today okay i just finished watching episode one and i am ready to get into this review just go ahead and like comment and subscribe and turn on that post notification bell so you know every single time i post a new video it's messy maya it's the messy mob girl we are lit over here okay <laughs> trust and believe that and what and yeah let's get into the mess chat Okay, so the episode started off with a music video by Ferrari and Erica Banks. So the song, what is this? Oh my God, what is the song called? Because I get what I want. Because I put that what? Put that what? Yeah. Put that mm, down. Put that mm, down. <laughs> That's my song. I'm not going to lie. I don't listen. I might have my feelings about Ferrari. But when I tell you she ate that song up, in my opinion, to be honest, she really ain't need Erica Banks on that song. But Erica Banks did good too. But I'm saying like that song was a hit by itself. That song is, <laughs> that song is T. I always like that song. I don't care. <laughs> I'm glad she kept it. I'm glad she did not change the theme song. Anyways, so, you know, the episode starts off with, you know, those two doing their thing. We can honestly skip past that. Da -da 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 -da, the intro, the introduce. Yeah. Okay. All that. All right. Okay, so we're getting to meet the girls. Keep in mind that I have not watched Now That's TV in a hot little minute, okay? <laughs> in a hot little minute, I have not watched Now That's TV. So some of the girls, you know, are from other shows, but I'm just now seeing them. So first we see Sierra. Now, Sierra says that she was from Close Friends. That's Big Lexus show. Now, I've heard of it. I've seen clips. I've never actually sat down and watched the full show. Y'all let me know if that show was good or not. But she said that she was too reckless for that show, so now she's on Young and Reckless. But as the episode went on, it didn't give that. But I'm going to wait. I'm going to be patient. I'm going to be patient. Because what I saw what, what I saw today just now was her, was her sitting quiet and on mute the whole time. Okay. It didn't give reckless. She didn't really seem like she really even had a... Um, a, too much of a mouthpiece on her which nothing is wrong with that but I, I just I'm just getting too completely different you know what I'm saying like she said she was too reckless on one show but on this show she's not really talking that much I don't know y'all let me know though girl next we get baby Tyson um we seen a lot of clips so in this episode they showed a lot of clips of baby Tyson getting into it with people again I have not watched now this TV in a minute but she looked like she was hanging girl she <laughs> listen I like Baby Tyson. I'm not gonna lie. She's she's like uh, one of my top three so far. I like Baby Tyson, girl. She pulled up. <laughs> she pulled up with a blue jumper, a blue a blue rumper jumper jumpsuit, whatever you want to call it, and some pink Crocs, girl. I'm not gonna play with you, girl. <laughs> Anyways, all right, and then we get Savage Doll after that. So I was kind of surprised. Okay. I was surprised that Savage Doll came back. You know what? Was I really though? Because I liked Savage Doll last season, but I felt like she popped it too much in the confessionals. You know what I'm saying? She popped it a lot in the confessionals, but she really wasn't saying anything to anybody's face like that. Nor, nor was she really getting down like that, but she just had so much to say about everybody in the confessionals. So I'm like, okay. But then we fast forward to the reunion and you know she she getting down but she not really she she losing you know what i'm saying like it's like you you a confessional gangster and then when you finally get in the field you getting dog walked all up and down the reunion okay you know but she did get crystal that one time though i think i think it was like the second round crystal got her the first round and i think and i think um savage dog got her the second round either way she was she was getting dog walked at the reunion girl her eye was big 
um her wig was twisted it was a mess but she's back i'm not mad at it because she's so cute and i did like her last season other than the whole confessional thugging i did like her last season so i'm excited to see what she brings this season she said that it's not going to be the same savage doll from last season and i just hope it comes off as authentic and not her just trying to play tough for the fans because she got called out for being a confessional thug i hope it comes off as authentic next girl so okay so sierra baby tyson and savage doll are sitting is it sad doll or savage doll whatever i would just say sad so sad baby tyson and sierra are sitting down all three of them is the, the, the girl they're talking girl okay and baby tyson and her confessionals she was like, yeah, well, I didn't really think that Sav was going to talk to us like that because she's an OG and we're, I'm like, girl, <laughs> who is girl next? I, I like, I like baby Tyson. She's cute. She's cute. I'm not going to lie. But it's like, girl, who is Sav doll to sit there and try to turn her cold shoulders because she's an OG. She didn't really do much last season, but okay. Like I still like her, but like, who is she? to turn a cold shoulder to you because she's a quote-unquote OG girl bye you know what I'm saying next girl Sierra sat there mute the whole entire time Sierra sat there mute the whole time um baby Tyson <laughs> baby Tyson told Sab that they their first season was all right girl I'm like listen y'all better y'all better because because first season was good to me I thought first season was good but you know y'all better make some noise talk about some first season was all right but yeah Sierra sat there on mute the whole time. I'm trying to figure out. She talked about she she was too reckless for close friends, girl. I'm trying to figure out where to. I need to go look up some clips of her or something, girl. So they're getting to know each other. Yeah, yeah. This, that, and the third. Okay, cool. Okay, so they get on the topic about hosting, and baby, <laughs> baby Tyson is like, you know, since you were on season one and now you're on season two, do you want to host? And Sav Doll was like, yes, girl, you're not. <laughs> no shade because I, I don't want y'all to think that i don't like savage doll because i do but like girl you're not gonna host season two like and since we're already on the subject of hosting i'm trying to figure out how ferrari is a host again like i said i have nothing against ferrari she gets on my nerves sometimes and i feel like she was an okay host but at the same time not really i don't really understand how she's hosting again like I thought the winner of last season was supposed to be the host. Like, who was who was the winner? Like, I'm so confused. Like, what happened? I thought that they said that if Ferrari didn't do her big one, that she was going to get replaced. You know, and I'm not saying that she didn't do her big one, but I mean, she, uh, and me personally, I feel like she got outshined by half of her own cast. She got outshined. Like, I don't, I can't really remember what Ferrari did last season to really establish anything especially to earn her spot oh yeah you girl she 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 put that what put that what yeah she put that mm, down put that mm, down that's what she did <laughs> that's what she did anyways so girl i'm sitting here trying to figure out how ferrari is still hosting but you know i'm not against it like it's whatever but I, i'm just if i'm just saying i it wouldn't be my choice like i like i said i feel like she got outshined by damn near her entire cast damn near like not only that but you were getting beat on on your own show beat on like a drum on your own show at the reunion and then swore up and down that some of the girls that were tagging you wasn't gonna come back and they literally are back for another season girl i just i just don't understand where her respect is like like they said like they said because they were talking about hosting and they just like i feel like if you hit me you finna go home or, you know, they were like, how do y'all feel about, you know, people putting their hands on Ferrari, da 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 And I feel the same way. If you host, how is your cast members beating you up? I don't understand. Like, at the end of the day, you're the host. They're the cast members. They're supposed to be some type of something. Like, you're just getting, girl, you just getting dog, girl, got dog walked by Legacy. Girl, bye. Okay. Girl, my, my girl, my girl, a uh, Legacy tour through. Legacy ho, yeah, all that. You know what I'm saying? and you host again girl bye okay so while baby tyson sierra and well girl sierra not even talking <laughs> so while um baby tyson and sad doll are talking while sierra's off to the side mute girl um nug comes in so me personally i like nug okay i really do i like nug nug is cool she's like pretty much in between masculine and feminine like she real hard body but when you look at her like she just 
all smiles. She's super pretty. Her hair's down, makeup done. I don't know. I liked her. Me personally, I did. So Canadian Barbie comes next after Nug. And I'm just like, girl, Canadian Barbie got on my nerves. I'm sorry. She really definitely, she talked too much. She talked too much. I, I just, I, I just can't. It's too much. It's like you're saying so much, but you're saying nothing at the same time. She got on my nerves. And me personally, you know what? I'm skipping ahead. I, uh, I'm i not going to say I don't like her, but she definitely got on my nerves a little bit. But I'm still willing to fill her out for the rest of the season. I'm not going to show her out too quick. But she definitely irritated me the first episode. No shade. She did. She she just, she, I don't know if she, girl, I, I, don't, I don't know. She irritated me though. And then Renee Trill comes in after that. Okay, so... They're all sitting like in a circle, right? So they're, you know, they're asking each other each other's ages, this, that, and the third. And then we find out that Canadian Barbie is actually 32. Or was it 31? It was either 31 or 32. She's in her early 30s. That's all that matters. So then they're like, okay, why are you on a show called Young and Reckless? It don't make sense. You know what I'm saying? That's what they're saying. Especially Nug. Sorry, I'm still I'm still learning their name. I'm still digesting their names. Especially Nug. Nug is really like this is a platform or this should be a platform for younger girls to come on and do their big one. It's called Young and Reckless, pretty much. And by no means do I feel like 31, 32 is old. I really don't. But I feel like if it's a show called Young and Reckless, that's more of a bad girls club style show. I feel like, and I've been saying this, I say this about baddies too. I feel like it should, I feel like it should, me personally, because like I said on Bad Girls, I don't know what the age range should be, but all I will say is that on Bad Girls Club, they did not go above 26, 27. And that's, I'm gonna just leave it there. But, you know, it, it's it's literally called Young and Reckless. Like, I feel like early 20s, mid 20s should be on the show. Late 20s should be on the show. Early 30s, I don't know. Like, not on a show called Young and Reckless, that's all I'm saying. And it didn't seem like, because I feel like Nug's body language is more, Nug, Nug, Nug. I hope I'm saying it right. Her body language is more, so like I said, she hard body. So what she say is going to come across as like, it's going to come across as rude. But I really feel like she wasn't trying to be rude. I feel like she was more so like just side eyeing her. Like, why are you here? You know what I'm saying? Like us, like I said, it's a platform. It's called Young and Reckless, first of all. Like it's just, it's self-explanatory within itself. But not only that, but, you know, it's a, it's a chance for the younger girls to come on here, do their big one. And we got some things that we got to sort out. We got some issues that we got to fix. You know, we got we, we have time to mature, not time to mature, but we have more room for, you know, growth and maturity and stuff like that. So I understand where she was coming from. I do. I do. You know what I'm saying? But I don't mind Canadian Barbie being there. Like, I wouldn't be like, oh, kick her out because she's 31, 32. No, like. But like, come on now, we <laughs> so see Natalie Nunn, girl, she's pushing 40 and she's still doing a girl, come on. And she on the show with, with 21, 23, 24 year olds, girl, boo bye. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. And then something else I want to talk about too. Okay, so Renee Trill, I like her, but one thing I did not like was how, and a lot of people on TikTok were praising her for it. Oh my gosh. I don't like how she said that Nug gave T-Girl, Nug gave Tranny, Nug gave Man. I don't like how she said that. Like, you never met, like, there are different types of women. Like, every woman is not going to be super, super soft and feminine. Like, you know what I'm saying? Girl, it's, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> but I like Renee Trill, though. I like Renee Trill. So, so far, the people that stood out to me was Nug, Baby Tyson, and Renee Trill so far. And I'm starting to what well, I already like Savage Doll but I like I'm starting to like her a little bit more this season because she seems a lot more outspoken and she seems like she you know she 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 on that like I like that about her this season okay so like I said I like Renee Trill but I didn't like a specific moment where her Savage Doll and um what's her Nook Nook her Savage Doll and Nook were sitting down together and you know, Savage Doll is in her, it's just so crazy how you could be in somebody's face and like just not know what they're thinking of you whole time. You think that ish is so sweet and it's not like that. It's so crazy. But so they're all in each other's faces, smiling, opening up to each other, talking. Um, Savage Doll is, girl, she think ish is so sweet. She's like, we're going to be a trio, this, that, and the third. Like I could really see myself rocking with these two. Again, it was Nug. Renee Trill and Savage Dog. Okay. 
So Savage Star is saying all these positive things and 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 Renee. And, and it's so crazy because I would think when I think of Renee and what I've seen so far, because I haven't seen her before this. So when I think about her, I'm like, I would think that she would be real enough to say something that she felt about. She would say how she felt out loud and not go back in her confessional and start thugging. But she was just smiling in somebody's face. Crazy to me. So again, it's her. Nook and Savage Dog. So they're talking, they're smiling in each other's face. Girl, Kiki, again, that does not mean that they're friends, but don't do that and then start thugging in your confessionals talking ish about somebody. So she and Nook face, they touching on each other, not like flirty, but still, they're they're being friendly. They're touching on each other, they're calling each other pretty. Oh, you're pretty, oh, you're pretty too. I like how you yeah, da 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 da. Again, it's so sweet and so peaches and cream to the point where Savage Doll is in her confessional saying how they're gonna be a trio. Whole time, whole time, Renee is in her confessionals saying how Nug look like a man and how Nug give tranny and how Nug is masculine and she a man and she this, she that. That irritated me, first of all, because it's like, ugh, girl, it irritated me because you were in her face being extra friendly. It's not even like you like gave her the cold shoulder or you made it known that she's not the type of girl that you would hang out with in real life. You were friendly, like extra friendly. It's not even like you were like being cordial. You were super friendly and none of that came out your mouth. In front of her. In front of her, you call her cute. You called her pretty. And you was touching on her. Y'all was touching on each other. Touching each other. And then in the confessionals, it's a whole different story. I don't know. That kind of caught me off guard. It kind of caught me off guard. I don't feel like she ate it up. I feel like a lot of people on TikTok too were praising her for it. And it's like, eh, no, I just didn't really like. And then you, I, I can't with the calling, with the calling, with, with telling women they look like trannies. I, I just, I can't. I can't. Why? Because she more hard body than you? It don't make no sense. There are some girls that are feminine. There are some girls that are masculine. I don't understand why somebody got to get called a man because they're more masculine than the next girl. Like y'all not all, y'all not all cut from, y'all all cut from different cloths. Y'all not from the same places. Y'all were not raised the same. Some people just have a more hard exterior than somebody else. Girl, it's okay. Like, I don't know. I just felt like that was weird. I felt like that was weird of her. Um, and but but th the reason why I say I felt like I thought that she was one of the one of those girls that you know if she felt like something she would say it out loud was because she was clowning old girl Sierra for doing something on the show what running after a man crying after a man going to see her man leaving in the middle of the night to go see a man she was clowning her for that and roasting her for that in her face but you you sitting up here girl I don't know I just didn't I didn't really like it. <laughs> I still feel like she has potential and I like I said she was one of the people that stood out to me but girl I don't know I wasn't really rocking with that too much okay so Ferrari ends up coming and I'm not gonna lie her pull up like I feel different ways about Ferrari like I feel like Ferrari has some 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 uh and, and girl don't even quote me on that I feel like Ferrari has some really good qualities as a host but sometimes I'm I just don't know like I, I don't know. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's very much mixy, but I still stand on what I said. I said what I said, and I stand on that. Y'all can definitely quote me on this. I feel like, based off of last season, I feel like she did not deserve to be host again. And that's all I'm going to say. But I'm I'm okay with the fact that she's host again because it's, you know, it's whatever. She's host. Okay, cool. She put it down, and she <laughs> she got her host spot back. It's cool. Anyways, so she pulls up her, her pull up. Her entrance ate down, not gonna lie. They played the song, I'm not gonna lie. That song is T. Like, I would never get tired of that song. I don't care. <laughs> that song is T. So they did a little dramatic pull-up girl. She got off the uh, truck, girl. The girls waited around her. They were cheering for her. They were singing her song. I liked it. I thought it was cute. I thought that she was nice to everybody. Um, She learned, she, you know, made it clear that she learned from her past mistakes last season and some things that she would not let slide like that I respect like you're aware that you're not that you were not the perfect host but you're willing to change it this season I like that you know what I'm saying I'm not mad at that you know anyways 
So she, girl, she pulled up. She got the car. Like I said, she dancing. Everybody singing her song. She doing a little performance or whatever. I thought it was cute. Then they ended up getting into a sprinter to head to the house. So, girl, again, with, with Canadian. Canadian. I want to say Canadian doll so bad. I don't know why. With Canadian Barbie, girl. Girl, I'm serious. She air she talked too much. I mean, she talked too much. And she's so loud. Like she talked too much. And it, like her uh it's oh God, please stop. Stop talking so much. All right, so out of nowhere, and I feel like she was doing this, and I said what I said. She only did this because Ferrari was in the car. And she had a crowd. She not only had a crowd, but now the host was in the building. And I feel like, I don't feel like she was trying, like she had the intentions to fight or get down. But I definitely feel like she was trying to show out a little bit. Okay. Because if you felt like somebody did not mess with you or they didn't like you for some specific reason, they gave you a side eye, they were talking slick. You should have addressed it when it first happened. When it first happened. But you want to wait until you guys are in a moving vehicle and she is across the van, across the Sprinter, and you're across the Sprinter, and Ferrari is sitting right there and you have a crowd now to say something I feel like is weird. I feel like it's weird because she didn't, it was so sudden and so out of nowhere, she really didn't even have to do it. Like and like I said, if you really felt some type of way about it, you should have addressed it when it first happened. When she was side eyeing you and looking at you crazy and questioning as to why you're, questioning you as to why you're even on the show at 31, 32, and it's called Young and Reckless, that's when you should have got your issue. But you wanted a crowd, you wanted the audience, you wanted the host to be there, you wanted to show out so me personally, I just, I, I don't, I didn't feel bad for her this episode. I really did. <laughs> and I said what I said. <laughs> I did not feel bad for her. Like, I didn't. I'm sorry. Anyways, so, girl, what else? So, Canadian dolls start talking, girl, and she is out of nowhere. Ferrari talking to them. You know what I'm saying? And for, you know what? I'm going to say that afterwards. Girl, I'm jumping. I'm jumping ahead a little bit because I missed one part that I wanted to speak on, too. But she talking... And she basically like, oh, well, I felt like she didn't referring girl. She wasn't, she was being so indirect to the point where they literally thought that she was speaking on Sav and not Nug. You're being so indirect and you can't even look her in her face and really point to her and point and, and, and put a name on it. You so scary that you can't even do that to the point where they literally thought that she was talking about somebody else. So anyways, girl, boo, you know what I'm saying? Ugh. Girl, so it, it, you know, it finally come to the light that she's talking about Nug. Okay. And Nug is like, girl, if I had an issue with you, you would have known I had an issue with you. I would have, you know, went across your mouth if I had an issue with you. You know what I'm saying? And the girl's like, ooh, ah, ooh, ah. Like, she just said she's going to do this. And, and she's like, but for what? But for what? Like, why would we do that? Like, what's the reason that we would do that? Like, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Because you talk too much and you had absolutely no reason to even bring it up. So her and Sav end up getting into it about something that happened on the internet where Sav spoke on her eyebrows, which I completely believe. <laughs> I believe because Sav is real quick to speak on how somebody looks. <laughs> so I guess she felt a type of way about that. And again, she's just running her mouth and running her mouth and she keeps going and going and going and she's in fr and she ends up standing up and coming in front of Sav because she was not sitting there at first she was across the sprinter at first she ends up getting first of all she got up multiple times in the, in the midst of a heated argument or uh, whatever you want to call it exchange she ended up right in front of Sav getting up coming right in front of Sav thinking that they're just going to have a regular conversation and, and in the midst of that Sav steals off order and me personally I don't blame her I don't I don't, I don't, I don't care. I said what I said. I don't blame Sav for doing that because you talk too much. You stood up multiple times while we were getting into it. You acting like you, you keep saying you don't want to get into it, that you don't got no issue, but you, but you, you keep talking. You won't be quiet. You, you bringing up something about eyebrows, girl, bye. Okay. You, <laughs> girl, you I, girl, you, her in that forehead is making me mad at this point. You talked too much, and now Sav just went just went across your face, and, and that was that. 
had you twisting and turning all in that sprinter. Me personally, I don't really feel like it was wild. It was a wild girl. They they was wild. They when they got into it, it was wild. They was twisting and turning, girl. It, I, all I saw was hair and I girl. All I know is is that Sav ate that, ate that, ate that. She did. She ate the she ate the little she ate the she when she went across her face at first she ate that up. I don't care, girl. And and and, and what? And what? Both of them ended up wearing their wigs. Both of them looked a mess after that. Like, I don't know what else to say. So they end up going to the house and they go inside. Oh, wait, no. First of all, I forgot to mention something. So Ferrari is not slick. But I'm not mad at it because, honestly, I was one of the people calling Sav, a, a, not internet, calling Sav a confessional gangster or whatever. So Sav is basically talking her ish, you know, about being the OG, like only the, the only OGs that mattered came back and I'm one of them yeah all that you know what I'm saying so she's talking her ish real bad okay in the sprinter everybody cheering her on and then Ferrari goes basically basically took a big dookie on her moment and was like the fan she's like trying to be cute ha, the fans said that she's an internet gangster first of all nobody said she was an internet gangster we said she was a confessional gangster like if you're gonna try to, to try to dim her light and steal her shine and interrupt her in the middle of a moment the least you could do is at least get right what the fans said. Nobody's, we said she was a confessional gangster, like, and it's at, you, not Sapphire. Why is that Sapphire? Ferrari just tried to completely ruin her moment, child, but in like an acute C way, like. But I definitely peeped that. And what else happened, child? Um, <laughs> it's just a mess, girl. All right, so they get to the house Um, again. Right before that, Sav, Sav, Savage, Savage Doll, and um, Canadian Barbie had just gotten into it. So, girl, both wigs off, girl. Uh, Canadian Barbie outside talking her ish. She mad. She going inside with Ferrari first. Ferrari's like, please just calm down. I'm gonna bring them inside. We can't have this. Da 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 da. Sav, she brings Sav and Sav in first. Okay, so Savage Doll comes in first, and they basically talk it out. They both apologize to each other, and they. And, uh, they they pretty much like it's over eyebrows it's not that serious like it's literally not that deep why are we even doing this right now they both apologize they move forward all the girls come in so <laughs> oh y'all the twins i forgot to mention the twins okay the twins i like them i think they're from where they from alabama yeah i think i'm gonna like them mm-hmm yeah <laughs> i like them i do anyway so i just wanted to say that because i forgot to mention them at first but yeah they come into the house this and the third and they're sitting down another another situation comes on happens between nug and canadian barbie canadian barbie is still running her mouth okay running her mouth okay and again, she's running her mouth, but at the same time, she will be like, oh, but what are we, like, what are we fighting for? Like, girl, just be quiet. Just hush. Like, you talk too much. <laughs> you talk too much. And then when you get popped in your mouth, you wonder why. Anyways, so girl, they're, they're, they're going back and forth, whatever. So at the end of the going back and forth, Canadian Barbie ends up saying, next, girl, when I tell y'all Nug reached into her purse, <laughs> she reached. When I tell y'all Nug looked at her like, this is what I'm saying. Y'all got to watch out for the silent ones. Because you could tell Nug kind of been trying to spare her this whole time. Like, she looked at her, Nug looked at her girl. She, I don't know how Canadian didn't, like, you know, catch on. She looked at her girl. She turned her head, looked down at her purse, reached in her purse. Fumbled in her purse, trying to look for something. <laughs> trying to look for something, girl. When I tell y'all, she took out that Chick-fil-A mac and cheese. <laughs> she took that Chick-fil-A mac and cheese out, girl. And she stood up and threw it at her. I ain't never seen a hoe get hit upside her head with a macaroni and cheese, girl. <laughs> That's crazy. So they end up going. And when I tell you, Nook tore her down. Walked her down. Both rounds. Both rounds. Tore her up. Tore her out the frame. Both rounds. Canadian Barbie, what is going on? Okay, what is going on? And that was the end of the episode. 
Okay, so that is the end of the recap for episode one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoyed the show and I hope you guys enjoyed the recap. Let me know how you guys feel about my opinions. Let me know how you guys feel about the episode. It's Messy Maya. It's a Messy Mob Girl. We are out. Bye.